Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today finally we have here the completed Tapan Strike Freedom Metal Build version. Um, overall the whole process of building have been rather pleasing, um, not very much of difficulty but if there is I will be making another video which um, I will put the menu in front and then I'll let you guys know like what are the parts you guys should take note of when you're building this kit but yeah nonetheless Right now, in front of us, we have the completed product of the Tapan Strike Freedom. And as you guys know, I did not purchase the wing effect of light together with it. So basically, I think I'll just name this um, part 1 of the review. So I'll do my best to make everything as fast as possible so that I do not prolong the video to, ex to a certain extent because I don't think anyone want to watch the video that's um, really long. So yeah, without further ado now, uh, oh yeah, and what, there's one more thing, uh, as you guys can see on this right side here, uh, my right, which would be your, we would, we, it would be this Gunpla's left. Yeah, um, here I've lost the beam saver handle, so yeah, it's not going to be a little bit, it won't be that complete. But yeah, nonetheless, now we just move on first with the articulations, so yeah. So before I begin the articulation, I bet everyone would be curious to see whether um, with its Dragoon system attached to the Strike Freedom, would it be able to stand in its own right? And um, as you guys can see, it practically can't even stand properly because it's really back heavy. So yeah, now um, to... Okay, that fall off. So to make the review much more easier, I'll be remo I'll be removing the dragon system, and then we'll take a look at the articulation separately. So yeah, the dragon system actually it's actually it's very secure, so you don't have to worry about it. It's just it's really back heavy. So yeah, now that the dragon system is off, we're now back on to the review of the articulations. So as always, we we'll take a look at top half of the body first. Right now here we have the head over here, I'm not sure you guys can see but here you guys can see the stickers, the quality is actually very good, let me just do my best at focus. Um, there's two stickers here, there's one top and then second here. Uh, what disappoints me actually is there's actually there's no transparent part to cover it. So basically your sticker is exposed to everything, so that's kind of sad but still nonetheless it still looks great. And then next here is the wee fin here. The Wii Fin, if you compare it to the Dragon Momoko Wii Fin, um, I think this, although there is some nut marks, like maybe these guys can see over here, and then over side here. So yeah, maybe there is some nut marks, but I still think that it should be this kind of gold rather than the dull gold. Yeah, so I think based on the head as well, as you guys can see the head, it looks really aesthetic and I really love how the head looks. So yeah, compared to Dragon Momoko, that is. So anyway, the head now can go up and down. Um, for me, my head, the ball joint, it's kind of loose. Um, so if you guys have a little bit of time, I would recommend you guys to sand the head. Either that or is the poly cap inside, which sure you guys can see. So yeah, I mean, although it does looks very quite flimsy, but nonetheless, it's still. Um, secure right there in this position so next as you guys can see there is some movement on the head but then um, as you guys know oh, I'm sorry like here this part it will move along with it so yeah when you turn you better do your best to maintain that position along so I would recommend you guys hold on some force when you want to do some um, head rotating stuff so yeah basically the head is just like that and you can do your in and out in and out in and out in and out like that so yeah next then we'll move we shall move on to the hand so we take a look here on this hand instead so here there is some uh okay um i, I, might, I might as well talk about it anyway um the hand here i think it's worse it's one of the worst one Although the looks everything it's great but uh, in terms of locks locking in securing into the body it's not that great um, especially this shoulder armor here it's really flimsy and until now they still can't get it right you know um, in terms of for 
bootleg or any other non bandai companies it's just i just don't really like this mechanism like you might as well give me a separate poly cap the sharp one rather than secure everything inside here i'm not sure you guys know what i'm talking about but the weak the one of the weakness that is quite obvious is definitely the shoulder armor here but yeah um if i'm not mistaken this can open out a little bit like that so as you guys can see inside here um details wise is great but uh like i say the you are being connected with a poly cap for this hand this um your whole hand over here and then this part is just the empty part there and you need to push your poly cap into the shoulder armor part here so it's not great i mean poly caps wise it's not that great so yeah i mean nonetheless you can still perform some um, movement and stuff so maybe you guys want to see the detail over here this is a separate piece actually this part here is a separate piece so that's good to see then next year you have some details over here the blue cap and there's two separate part one here and the other one is down here let me just focus yeah this one part and this second part so that's it for the shoulder armor over here next on we'll continue on with the movement of the hands so of course you can move all the way up here so in terms of articulation oops again so in terms of articulation it's really great i'm really impressed by it just the holding part of it that is not really great and then you guys can see here this part um the up uh, the body over there this part actually move up so it's a little great movement so you guys can see this part here you can move in then out and it is affect the top here you guys can see so yeah it's good to see really i'm really really impressed by it and then next year of course you have the uh, zoom down again next part here of course you have the shield and i if when i'm here i might as well do it as well so this part here and then you have this piece over here this is like the effect part so this is actually the first time that i'll be doing it um am i doing it right i am not really sure it looks like it should have a poly cap there but yeah it should look something like this when you mount on so i guess i'm missing some things definitely it doesn't look like that so yeah again looks great but in terms of compared to this and dragon momoko the effect part of the shield wise i think dragon momoko does a better job this is rather um on the dial side so yeah anyway let's put the shield effect part aside and then let's put back the shield on it's the other side i'm really sorry so next we just now we move all the way up here next we do the the within this part here is actually pretty long so it will come into effect so you move, just move your head side a bit then of course what you would always want to do is you can of course rotate all along with no problem just now it came out a while at the beginning of the video but now it just secure in there so next just move it inside let me just position and then next year we look at this articulation let me remove the shield again so as you guys can see there is a small gap over here and again i'll talk about this part in my another video but still it looks okay because of the gold color maybe you can just um, brush it off as um, like give it like an effect part so yeah let's see look at the articulation over here so yeah of course you can look like that it looks kind of weird i must say but nonetheless you can say you can go all the way up like that so yeah let me just move it down so yep basically the hand is just like that so you just have to readjust it again i must say the hand looks kind of weird when you do like the full hand going up so yep um just put here and then of course next we look at the hands here that it comes with let me just show show you guys so right in front of us here we have so many pairs of hands and let me tell you um i did not i did not need any sending whatsoever i can straight away just fix it compared to dragon momoko which i only have one available hand for it to show you guys but then um in terms of 
Tapan Strike Freedom, I managed to actually fix in everything with not much of a problem. Although during when you fix it, there is slight issue, but once you put it in, you know, it's a good to go kind of thing. So yeah, the first hand here, of course, is the open arm. This rather uh, maybe want to shake hand with uh, another gunpla. So yeah, this basically just like that. And then next here, this another. I uh, this would, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this would be holding the beam saber handle. And then you have this completely closed fist hand here. Then this is, I think, it's the same. And then this one is also another part of the hand. And then this one again, another closed fist. And then here, another one that's maybe holding the beam saber. Then this two is the one that you would want. This is where you will put on the um the beam. No, beam saber and then you have the beam rifle, yeah. I always forgotten the words. So basically, uh, you can see there is a gap there. You can see a slight gap inside. And then over here, let me try to focus. Yeah, you guys can see there is like this part over here came out. So you just want to slide, slide in. So yeah, basically this pair of hands, you can just straight away put your gun inside. And then there's no worry about it. So yeah, beam rifle, just put in here. Although I would say it's uh, not, not very that secure as you guys can see. But then if you do not move much of it, it, it will stay there. So yeah, it will just hold like that. So what I, re I would recommend you guys is fix the fist towards inside the hand first. Then only you mount on the beam rifle. That you won't have to um, make the beam rifle become very loose. So yeah, that I will talk about that later on. So basically, all the fists are here. You can um, just push it um, towards the hand later on. So yeah, basically, now the hand all is done. Let me just put it all aside. And then we'll continue on with the rest of the articulation. So the next part, the articulation, we'll be looking at the body. Um, as you guys can see, the body, it's a little bit retarded. Um, uh, the... I think the weakness for this kit overall would be top half of the body, I would say. As you guys can see here, the, uh, what you call that, the, the fin of it where you release the smoke, everything. And then here you guys can see is the gold color. This is, should be where um, Chia Yamato will be sitting, the pilot there. But overall, this whole black thing, it's um, really not that good. Um, I would recommend you guys to spend a little bit more time in building this part so that you won't have the same mistake as I am because this whole front part over here is just a total mess you guys can see it, it just looks very retarded so yeah anyway um, in terms of app crunch you can like do here in terms of app crunch you, it's really good but then it's just the exterior part over here that's not very good then you can do maybe a slight side to side like that so yeah that's good so I think top half of the body naturally we're done with now let's move on to the lower part of the body so here the um the lower part of the body we look at the skirt armor first and of course you guys can see it's two independent piece here and if i'm not mistaken can you slide out no you, i don't think you can but you can see the slight gimmick over here you can open up the skirt armor the front skirt armor so yeah and then you can go all the way just like that because this part over here will be blocking it from going all the way up so yeah and then maybe here you guys want to see some really nice gold color detail so yeah um we'll take a look at the side armor later on we'll take a look at the back first so you guys can see at the back here you can go all the way up like that i mean it's actually not like that because it will pop out just like that you can see at the side here so just all you need to do is just put it back in and then you're good to go so yeah basically can go all the way up like that it still looks great nonetheless so yeah maybe you guys can see want to see some detail so yep let me just put it down in terms of going wide um, you are very limited because it's ball joint so yeah next on we shall move on to the side skirt armor um, the reason why I put the hands up so for easier for you guys to see. Um, let's just uh, continue. So here, of course, you can move up. And then you can move straight for you to shoot. And something came off. I shall take a look at that later on. 
Alright, it's just the front armor, front skirt armor. So let me just put it back. <coughs> so yeah, basically can go all the way like that. Of course, this is for the use to shoot out your. So if I when I'm here, I might as well show you guys here, like so. This part, let me just put it further away. See, guys, can see here. There is a. This is a two. Co uh, one connector connected to this part. And this part. So, it's rather um stiff. So. I wouldn't recommend you guys to use too much strength in case it breaks so yeah this is it this is the maximum it can go um in terms of straightness it's not really that straight this part here it's a little bit um go towards going down sort of like two parts that's going down like that but okay nonetheless it still looks great so maybe some effect you guys want to see here maybe the red part over here so yeah once it extended you can go all the way up like that let me just show and go all the way up like that that you can go shoot just the sideways like that not really much you can go up and down that's it but you can't really um move towards outwards so yeah just your maximum articulation is just like that it's kind of sad because um in in the anime it looks really versatile can move um anywhere it likes so yeah, I mean, still, still it's okay. Alright, so let me just push it back into its normal position. The thing that you want is to slide like that. And then just push it in. There is um, a slight click sound. You should be able to feel when you do it. So yeah, and then next just push it down. And then just put it back into its position. Next on, we shall move on to the legs. So the legs is always the very exciting part of the review for me because it shows how good the articulation is and then there's always parts that will be dropping off. Okay, I'll, I'll just fix it that later on. So yeah, basically your whole your leg can go full 90 degrees like that. Now we shall try and move it towards the back. So yeah, towards the back, this is only your maximum articulation. Let me just put it down and move the side like that. So yeah, this is your maximum articulation in terms of going towards the back. But yeah, lucky at the front, um, you have no problem. So that's good. Then next year, let's see if it can go how, let's see how much it can bend. Just like over here, you can bend all the way like that. So you have no problem bending just just um, going back that's um, limited amount then as then guys here maybe you guys want to see another part fall off i'll just drop it there just like that you guys can see maybe some gimmick over here and then another part came out so i've put back everything in place now uh, what i want to show you guys is the articulation again so maybe here just focus again here you guys can see the side here you guys can see the gimmick instead let's just have a look at this leg so here the gimmick you guys can see looks really great guys here and then let's try to move his knee up let me just push up so yeah it okay, looks like that so it's just like a short gimmick over here so yep and yeah everything starts to fall off again and while we're here, let's just take a look at this part over here. So here you can see there is a slight gimmick over here. And then you can move all the way up like that. So it, it can look like he's flying, he's floating up. Then here maybe some sh small details you guys want to see. So yeah, then next year, the legs here, when I'm here, I might as well show you guys. Um, there is an armor piece if I can find it where it falls off. Anyway, uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, I, it's just everything is falling apart. Um, yeah, basically, the articulation is just like that. You are connected with a ball joint. So basically, it looks like that. So, yep. Um, there is, like you can see, like a hydraulics gimmick here. Just show you guys here, like at the hydraulics. So, again, it looks great. And it's a little bit of articulation, not that much. So, yeah, anyway, take a look at this pose looks really stupid so yeah i mean basically um your articulation is great 
but um, one thing I'll need to remind you guys is if you guys want to buy um, the Strike Freedom, be it Stapan or Strike or the Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom, you will need to put on a lot, a lot of effort because as you guys can see throughout my review, there are parts that are falling off and there are parts that you will need glue to stick on so that it won't fall off that often. And again, if you guys just want to pose, so if you guys just going to pose it and not um, move it around that much, then I guess um, you just, yeah, just glue it one, one off, then don't touch it anymore. Just leave it there because looks wise, it looks great. But uh, in terms of you want to move around, pose a lot, then it's definitely not recommend. So yeah, basically the mobile suit review, it's just like that it's very it's actually a very simple mobile suit but uh problem still prevails so yeah it's, again it's not bandai kit so can't really expect um that much so yeah basically just hands like that and then at the back maybe you guys want to see oh yeah the skirt armor here you can go down but then it's not really something that you need the only time that uh you would want the skirt armor to go down would be like that to push it in move it inside and then you can mount on your beam rifle here at the side here you can let me just again this part here it's very hard so i don't plan on mounting it at all so yeah let me just push it back in front and push back up the skirt armor and there you have it and then at the side at the back here you will be looking at the dragon system which I'll be going on right now. So right now we have of course here the Dragoon system. Um, in terms of looks, again you guys can see it's really nice and detailed. But one thing I would say, I'm not sure about anyone of yours but mine is super loose. Like you can literally just flims, it's really really flimsy. So by making it standing up and connected it to the mobile suit for Strike Freedom, um, it's basically a no-go so it's definitely you will need the stand that it comes with to display on but then nonetheless we still take a look at its actual articulation how it is so you guys can see here this part can go all the way like that and go all the way like that and I actually think that I might have um, put these two uh, side um, differently so maybe that's why it's so loose but nonetheless, it's still fine by me. Anyway, um, of course you have four dragon system all along. And then here you guys can see this articulation. Usually, um, it's like that. You would post the strike freedom like that. I mean, basically it should look like that the other way around. But still um, looks great. That's why I think I think that's why maybe my dragon system here it's a little bit. Um, it's a little bit like limited compared to the one I got at the Dragon Momoko Dragoon system so yeah basically you can go all the way up like that you want to show like sort of like expanded wings but like I say you can't really do much so yeah let me just show you guys like that and then in terms of space um you can't there's you guys can see there's a, it's only a small gap so that's really sad and there's one thing when this blue color, I'm not sure which one I can take off because everything basically you need to force, you legit need to push it into the dragon system. I mean this black color piece. So in terms of dragon system compared um, dra Tapan dragon system and dragon momoko system, I would say dragon momoko dragon system win on this part. So yeah, I mean. Um, I don't have the effect part so I can't show you guys how it will look on it but yeah now I'm just going to show you guys how to mount on right, bring the mobile suit so you guys can see the gap over here um, this black color piece on top maybe if I try and focus so yeah um, here the black color part here and then just mount on over here it's actually very secure if you guys saw so yeah although it's back heavy but you guys can see it's actually really secure so in terms of this part I would give a really really good um, five thumbs up 
for Dragon uh, from Tapan for making it so secure. But maybe the effect part you guys can see is just so loose. You can legit just push back and don't need to do anything. So yeah. Anyway, let me just change the hand and then let me just put on the part with holding the beam rifle and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, during the part, um, a lot of things happened. So, I, as you guys can see, the hand here fall off again for the strike freedom. I'm sure you guys can see. But yeah, the hand fall off. So, I might as well just show you guys how I mount on first. Then, I'll continue on by fixing the completed hand. So, basically, um, move that side. So, basically, you guys can see underneath here, there is like a poly cap. This is actually a where you get from is the poly cap. Right here is this part that you will they will give. Again, it's really loose. Um, that's why it's not really that secure. I'm not saying um, this base is loose. It's just the connector here that is loose. So yeah, now just mount on. And then in terms of mounting on, it's very easy. You have no difficulty at all. Although usually the poly caps is the weakness of the kit. But then again, you have no issue at all. It's just maybe that part. Maybe I'll need to glue it on later on. So yeah, basically, this is how it looks like when you put when you are mounted on into the base. So yeah, let me just find a hand and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so I found the hand. So now, uh, as you guys can see, I removed the hand here. So I'm gonna put on the if the hand part that will be holding on the beam rifle. So this is the hand that you want. So yeah, let me just put it in. Again, uh, by connecting this hand inside, it's a very much easier job compared to the one that Dragon Momoko have. I, I just don't know what quality that Dragon Momoko use, but it's just putting on the hand, it's really a pain in the ass. But then, thank God that Tapan one is not. But of course, it still have its flaws compared to Dragon Momoko. So yeah, and then next, um, you can see the hand is actually coming out. So what I'll do is just stick it in. So yeah, basically, oops. So basically, it's just like that. You guys can see it's connected really well. And then let me show you guys the another part. I've actually rarely um do like this live on the video. Usually, I'll just cut it off. But um, <clears throat> because uh, it's been a long time since I review a uh, Gumpla, I've been doing so many unboxing that I think I've forgotten how to actually do a proper review. I'm at, I actually want to cut down on the review, but right now it's already like 20 plus minutes approaching 30, 30 minutes. So I'll do my best to speed up just a little bit more. So yeah, I'm finally done with it. So I guess the review is almost done. What um, I want to show you guys is the um, weapon here. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything I need to show. Maybe um, connecting the weapon again. So I'll just remove the weapon over here. And now that I actually look at this kit in a complete form, I think the hand, it's a little bit too long. I don't know. It, I think I should remove this part over here. For me, I think it really looks really long and looks weird. Alright, so basically this part, um, this beam rifle, it's the left, I mean my left side here, the beam rifle that we'll be holding, which will be the gun plus right hand side. So basically what you need to do first, push the, the handle up, like that. Next here, push it down, slide it in, and then you guys can see here, there is a hole inside here. So the next thing you just need to do is just push it in like that um, like how is it like that I don't know the manual just says um, you just need to slide it on afterwards but based on what I can see um, it can't really go all the way in if I go all the way in this white part is gonna get broken so yeah basically it's just rather like that and I don't want to break anything anymore I rather it be an incomplete form but it's basically just like that so yeah just push it down push it back in so there again you guys can see another incomplete part of it for the kit and then here you guys can see as always the 
beam saber the effect part here which i rarely use or cut i usually just store it and put it aside so yeah basically that's really it for this um re this review for the strike freedom tapanon um in terms of looks right if i just put it in front just show you like that i think anyone who looks at it would say hmm it's really not bad but when you start to, when you actually try to start to move the kit around you will start to think like hmm this is really a really um maybe five out of ten kind of kit so yeah in terms of looks right i would say it's easily eight out of ten really but at, um, in terms of the end build the end build of it like moving around and stuff and so on it's um five to six out of ten so yeah but the building process uh surprisingly it's um for me anyways it's seven out of ten compared to dragon momoko the building process five out of ten easily because there are so many things that you need to do it yourself and the quality is actually really really bad so yeah um i guess that's really it for this review for dragon i mean from tapa and strike freedom as i say i i mean if i'm almost ending it so i might as well continue the part that you need to really take note of is the top half of the body i would recommend guys to spend more time in making it perfect because if it's not then you have a lot of problem for um like me like you will need to put on lots of glues and so on and so forth then the next thing i would say is the leg connector joint again not their strongest point and then next is the hand maybe the the white color part which i will talk about it in another video in the manual there and then the next one is of course the dragon system as well which i will talk about it as well in my another video and then yeah i guess that's really it nothing really much to add on so yeah summer summary again looks 8 out of 10 easy um articulation 8 out of 10 um but then if you try to move and post everything you if you try to post that is 6 out of 10 and then building process like i said just now 7 out of 10 not there is still work to do but not as much as i imagine so if you want me to compare this and dragon momoko I would say Taban Strike Freedom hands down all day long, but then uh, of course there are still some part that uh, Dragon Momoko still wins, like maybe the price, um, which would be the they come with the effect parts everything, and then maybe the shield part they they win because the shield part the effect it's really really nice, and then in terms of Dragon Momoko's top half of the body they won hands down, in terms of hands. Taban wins the hands, although there's still some problems. And in terms of the weapon, um, Dragon Momoko win as well, hands down. And then in terms of licks, um, I would still say, although Taban have some problem, but I would still say Taban still does a little bit, just a little bit better job. So yeah, licks in terms of licks goes to Taban. And then the Dragon system, the Dragon system, of course, um, it will be won by Dragon Momoko. Because just the this blue color part here, Dragon Momoko, it uh, can release it out very easily and can put it back on in terms of the clip thing. So yeah, tap and loose on the Dragon system. And then, um, I don't think that's really much. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, the head. If you guys have built Dragon Momoko kits quite some time, you guys would know that the head always pose the most problem for Dragon Momoko. But in terms of Tapa and the head wins here for the Strike Freedom because firstly the jet, the actual go color for the V fin and then and then how aesthetic it just looks for in terms of the um, head here. So yeah, I think that's really it. Uh, there's nothing really much I can add on. So yeah, I guess that's um, that's it really for today's review for this Tapa and Strike Freedom Metal Build version. Um, Okay, throughout the review, actually, I've come up with some problems that I initially didn't thought it will happen. But then, yeah, it still does happen. So, take up quite some time for the video. Anyway, I hope you guys still have enjoyed this video. And if you guys do have enjoyed, please do not forget to drop a like down below. And as always, if you were uh, upon watching my video here, um, if you guys find out that um, 
there are still some questions that uh, you guys may not um, still I mean you guys still have some question that you that's not yet answered you guys can drop your comment down below and I will of course reply to them as soon as possible because in, as always all my previous video any comments that ask me about genuinely about the Gunpla quality in etc etc I would definitely reply them but uh, if it's a spam of course I'll just ignore or maybe even delete the comment so yeah I hope you guys really really have enjoyed this video and if you guys are new around here please don't forget to subscribe to me as there will be more Gunpla related review Gunpla related unboxing there will be of course figure reviews if you guys if you guys are interested in figure I have a couple of Presto um, re videos out already so if you guys want you guys can check it out and then um, of course yeah and I think that's really it so of course if you guys have enjoyed please 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 don't forget to drop a like because dropping a like down below it's really appreciated and yeah I guess that's really it for today's video there will be more videos like this coming out very very soon so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. And of course, I hope you guys have a very good day.